Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Chow, and I am a child and adolescent psychiatrist here at the Mood Disorders Association of BC. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of getting your child assessed early and have intervention and treatment early for common mental health problems such as mood disorders, anxiety, and attention difficulties. In recent years, we've learned that the majority of common mental health problems start before the age of 25. That means it is very important if you think that your child or someone you know has a mental health problem to get them assessed as soon as possible and to get treatment as soon as possible. Common sense would indicate that it is far easier to treat a small problem early than it is to treat a big problem later on. This can be said for a number of different medical problems and it's true in mental health as well. Helping a young person with mild depression, mild anxiety, or minor attention problems is a lot easier when that person is young and when the problem is relatively small rather than waiting for many years until the problem is really big and difficult to overcome. Treatment for mental health problems when done early can often be a lot milder than if you wait until longer into the illness. For example, most mental health problems in young people can be treated with a combination of talking therapy and complementary and alternative treatments, thus avoiding medication. However, waiting until a problem is much more severe may lead to the need to use strong medications which have side effects. If you know someone that may be experiencing a minor mental health problem such as mild depression or an anxiety problem or attention difficulties, it is really important to bring that person to the attention of a local professional such as a school counselor, a family doctor, or even a psychiatrist such as myself. Most often, however, people bring a child to the attention of their school counselor or family doctor, and that's a really important first step. That professional will make an assessment of that child to see if they need a relatively minor intervention, which could lead to a quick resolution of the problem, or sometimes a more serious intervention, and maybe even a referral to a specialist like myself. To recap, we now know that the majority of mental health problems start before the age of 25. We know that a small problem caught early is a lot easier to treat than a big problem that's caught late or is allowed to fester over time. It is very important to get treatment for people early when treatment is a lot easier and less invasive rather than waiting. If you know someone, especially a young person, that may be suffering from a mental health problem, get that person assessed as soon as possible. You'll probably be doing them a favor.